So this talk is called Einstein Wrong or Incomplete. Uh, now getting on to the issue of word games or word play. Uh, theorists or physicists play a lot of word games and in politics there is also a lot of word play. We try to change the meaning of words uh, when debating. Going to look at an example in physics. Uh, so, so this is Hunter's farmer. Um, she's a professor, and she deals with astrophysics and so forth. She she runs a blog and has an article entitled "Was Einstein Wrong? No, his theories are simply incomplete." So for the question, was Einstein wrong? She answers no, and that's when she's not given elaboration. And with elaboration, the answer is no, his theories are simply incomplete. That's Einstein. Einstein's theories are incomplete. So look at the dictionary and definition of incomplete means lacking a usually usually necessary part element or step it can mean other things but that seems to be the context of what is being meant and incomplete for most people would be another way of saying something is wrong so to the question was einstein wrong she answers with elaboration no, his theories are simply incomplete. She is effectively saying, in other words, no, he is not wrong, he is wrong. Uh, where without the elaboration, the answer is simply no. And which can falsely give the impression she is saying he is not wrong. So if you, if you ask her a question, was Einstein wrong? Just answer yes or no. And her answer would be no. And you could then falsely take that to mean she is saying that Einstein is not wrong. But if you allow her to elaborate, and she will then explain Einstein's theories are simply incomplete. So it's wordplay. She doesn't want to admit Einstein is wrong, so he replaces it by saying incomplete. Sadly, others play this word game with regard to Einstein. Now, looking at her article where she replaced Einstein is wrong by Einstein is incomplete, it lets her attack people who say Einstein is wrong by claiming that they are wrong. A reminder using Einstein as a shortened version of saying Einstein's relativity. So Einstein is wrong really means Einstein's relativity is wrong. And by saying Einstein incomplete, which what is really meant is Einstein's relativity is incomplete. She starts the article, anyone writing that Einstein was fundamentally wrong has not understood general relativity. Uh, that is, of course, a non sequitur. It doesn't follow. It does not have to follow that a person who says Einstein's wrong doesn't understand general relativity. But it allows her to spear all those people who say Einstein's wrong as not being clever enough to know what they're talking about. She continues. There are really two different things which are general relativity. There are the principles that define general relativity, in particular the Einstein equivalence principle. Then there are mathematical realizations of those principles, like the Einstein Hilbert action, from which we derive predictions from the Big Bang to light bending due to the sun, uh, to black holes and gravitational waves. 
and from my point of view I'd argue all those things have not been properly understood but which you follow by saying so if you see a headline say Einstein is wrong the answer is no so she's claiming all the articles that might might appear saying Einstein is wrong or instead wrong Uh, this is one of my favourite articles saying Einstein is wrong. Uh, it says, this is John Bell, the Belfast, Belfast scientist who proved Einstein wrong, is the head, headline the type of the article. Now she's saying that article is wrong. Uh, many physicists would disagree with her. Uh, John Bell has gone through a lot of her analysis in journals. However, she's adding to what she said. His theories, which is Einstein's, were incomplete descriptions of nature. Uh, so what she said was, so if you were headlo headline saying Einstein's wrong, the answer is no. His theories are incomplete descriptions of nature. I.e. she wants those articles saying Einstein's relativity is wrong to instead be saying it is incomplete. Farmer continues, uh, his theories were incomplete descriptions of nature, that's Einstein's. We seek to extend this with modified theories and test those with experiments. Any such theories would include general relativity within their structure. This is similar to the way Einstein's theory reduces to Newton's laws at smaller masses and lower speeds. Uh, so basically she thinks Einstein's relativity can be built on and I've dealt with, with the problems with the existing beliefs about relativity in other of my talks so I wouldn't fully agree with that sort of way I think a lot of modification needs to be made anyway it's as it stands physicists are going to engage in where a game such as incomplete versus wrong same as politicians engage in word games and so that is an example of what goes on uh, some people just don't want to accept that Einstein's relativity is wrong and they start playing around with word games thank you finish the end